Okay, we're now going to look at the median. Uh, the median is the middle number when once the numbers have been arranged in numerical order. So here we've got an example. We've got the numbers 4, 5, 2, 9 and 3. And we're going to work out the median for the set of numbers. So the first thing is arrange them in numerical order. So 2 is the lowest, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 9 is the largest. Now we're going to look at the middle number. Well, I sometimes cross them off, one like this. And you'll find that the middle number is 4. So the median equals 4. Let's look at another example now where you've got an even number of num or even number of numbers. Okay, we're going to work out the median for the set of numbers. We've got 4, 3, 6 and 8. So the first thing to do is whenever you're working out the median is to arrange them in numerical order. So the lowest value is 3 and then 4 and then 6 and then 8. Then we've got to look at the middle number. We'll cross off the smallest and cross off the biggest. It leaves us with 4 and 6 in the middle. To find the middle of these two numbers, well, in between 4 and 6 would be 5, so the median equals 5. If you're not sure how to find the middle of uh, the number in the middle of the two values you're left with, what you can do is you can add them together and half it. So adding 4 and 6 together gives you 10, and half of that is 5. Or in this case, it's quite the common sense. In between 4 and 6, the middle number would be 5. Let's look at another example. So let's work out the median for this set of numbers, 8, 9, 7, 4, 2 and 10. So again, first thing is arrange them in numerical order. So smallest is 2, next value is 4, next value is 7, next value is 8, the next value is 9, and the last value is 10, or the largest one is 10. Now sometimes what I do here is I just double check I've got them all, particularly that I've got a few more numbers than I have in the previous examples. In the question it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers, and I've written down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's just useful to check that you haven't missed one out. Now let's find the middle one, okay? So let's cross off the smallest and cross off the largest. Cross off the smallest, next smallest, and the next largest. And leaves you with 7 and 8 in the middle now, okay? Well, in between 7 and 8, halfway between 7 and 8 would be 7.5. So the median equals 7.5. Again, you could use a method of adding these two together. 7 plus 8 is 15, and half it is 7.5. So the median, the middle of the number for this set of data, is 7.5. Okay, in our last example, uh, we've been asked to find the median for 10, 4, 4, and 2. Well, again, let's arrange them in numerical order. So the smallest is 2, then 4, then 4 and then 10. Uh, again, cross off the smallest and largest, leaves you with 4 and 4 in the middle. If you've got the same number, so in between 4 and 4, well, that's going to be 4, okay? So the median is 4. Some students are not too sure what to do whenever you've got the same number in the middle of both, and then you just you just take that number, okay? So if you've got 4 and 4, well, in between 4 and 4 is 4. Again, you can check it, add them together, 4 plus 4 is 8, and half it is 4, okay? So the median is 4.